Hello everyone. Welcome back to Cybertix. In this video, today we are going to learn local file inclusion (LFI) vulnerability, and also we will see how we can completely automate this vulnerability with one-liners and exploit this LFI vulnerability on live website. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. As we already know, what do we mean by LFI vulnerability and its severity? But let me just give you a summary. What do we mean by this vulnerability? What is LFI? That is Local File Inclusion Vulnerability. LFI allows an attacker to include files on server through the web browser. This vulnerability exists when a web applications include file without correctly sanitizing the input. This allows an attacker. To manipulate the input and inject path traversal vulnerability with some characters and include some other files from the web server. Now, path traversal vulnerability. In the Unix system, if we want to traverse one directory backwards or to move another directory, we use two things. That is the cd command to change the directory, and if we want to move backwards, we use cd and then using some special character that is dot dot slash. It means that if you type this command. We will move back one directory backwards. So in this way, we have to detect the endpoint at which endpoint we can find some of the files which can disclose all those vulnerabilities. Now, how to identify it? It is easy to identify and exploit it as in any script that includes a file from a web server is good to test LFI vulnerability. It means that let's take an example over here. That is the script.php is there. And a page, and we are calling the another page within the web server that is the index.html. Now the page is uh, the page is the parameter where we are going to take a look if there is any local file inclusion or not because it directly calls a one particular file. So as a penetration tester, we attempt to exploit this vulnerability by manipulating the file inclusion parameter. So example, the page is equal to parameter. And then dot dot slash dot dot slash as many character we have added, and then slash etc slash pass wd. Slash etc slash pass wd is a critical directory in the Linux system where it contains all the passwords and the config details of the Linux systems. So as our if we have any web server or Linux web server, then this is a critical vulnerability. And we have added same characters again and again. This is because we are trying to move one directory backwards and backwards to detect if this particular etc slash password file is there at that endpoint or not. So there is another bypassing technique that is a null byte technique. Null byte injection bypasses the application filtering within the web applications by adding URL encoded such as percentage zero zero. It means that that is a null byte character, which returns nothing. But for if we send the request to the server, it looks like there is a null byte over there. So sometimes it bypasses the basic web application blacklist filters by adding additional null characters. For example, vulnerable dot php page is equal to slash etc slash password, and we are adding null byte characters. We can also append this percent zero zero at the start of the etc slash password too. So as we know about this automation, that is the LFI suit, which or uh, which if we say a page parameter is vulnerable, then it will automatically detect and add the dot dot slash etc slash password over there. But suppose if we wanted to detect plus exploit this LFI vulnerability completely in an automation way, so this is the one liner which we can go with that. That is the way more. Instead of way more, you can also use way back URLs. But Waymore's also uh, includes the Wayback URLs plus other OSINT techniques to grab the URLs, and also then we are including some tags. That is the no sub. It means that there will be no including of uh, subdomains. And once the output has been saved in their config files of the Waymore, uh, we are just going using the cat command to see all those URLs in the terminal. And there is another tool that is Euro. To filter it out and removing the duplicates, and again we are using a grab thing. That is the we are including only the equal to parameters which we want, and we are using a GF patterns of LFI. So it will only detect which of the uh, 
parameters are vulnerable for the uh, LFI attacks. So it's just a pattern. It will only detect that. If we want to use, we can use it, but it is a good practice for this automation part. And after that, at the last, to exploit it, we are using a nuclear template with the help of tags LFI. So let's just take a look into the live website and run this automation with the help of practical time. So let's just take a look into the Waver tool. I will give you this tool link into our description so you can access it. So the idea behind Waymore is to find even more links from the Wayback machines and another existing tool. So it just combines the other OS entity tools and the installation is very easy. I will recommend to use a pip3 command instead of pip command because uh, some of the pip packages are broken. So use pip3 install Waymore over here as I have already uh, installed this tool. I'm not going to install it again. So let's just take a target over here. So the target is arc iram dot fr1. So let me just uh, take only the domain without excluding that HTTPS. So let me just paste it and copy the command. Let's just move it one by one. So extra link found on the common crawl so it not only just cover the wayback urls it also use common crawl.org alien vault url scans.io and links found in this website are total 23 so it's a very cool thing and it says that config.yaml is didn't find over here so you can even see the where this particular output is being stored over here so it says that it's in the config file so let me just open it root in the dot config in that dot config we can see a uh, way more results and i uh, okay so copy this whole command and the output file cat this uh, and then way more dot txt let me just copy the whole command and i have already explained in the shit so let me just clear it so you can clearly see this so let's just wait for a few seconds to run the nuclei So as you can see, there is a LFI vulnerability, but it's in a CVE form. That is a CVE 2010-4282 vulnerability, where it has detected that in this particular uh, page equal to parameter is vulnerable for LFI. So let's just complete the scan over here. So let's just take a better look using the full screen. Okay. And then another uh, vulnerability is there, Carol IP phone LFI, so NSL Studio LFI. But uh, let's just take a look into this. Let me just copy the selection and then paste it over here and hit enter. Cool. We can see there is an LFI vulnerability where we can see the complete uh, slash etc slash password files. Now it's a root and there is another more details over here of the Linux systems. So this is how we will automate this LFI vulnerability. So I hope you understand. So we had seen how easy it is to detect and exploit this LFI vulnerability as this is a critical vulnerability. So many of the bug bounty hunters get this payout in the thousands of dollars. So start using this vulliner and try to find this vulnerability in bug bounty programs. Again, I am mentioning that we cannot rely on complete automation. 
because there is a chance of false positives so just take a help of the automation but also try to find and exploit this vulnerability manually i will share this one liner in our telegram community channel so make sure you join it please like and share and subscribe to our youtube channel i'll see you in the next video till that time goodbye and jai hind Just the dance, 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 just the dance